when the solution surrounding a cell is isotonic with the cell. That means the solute concentration is the same outside the cell as it is inside the cell. While water is diffusing into the cell from the solution, and while water is diffusing out of the cell from the cytosol, the rate at which these two processes occur is about the same. And so therefore there will be no net change in the volume of the cell, since the amount of water entering is about the same as the amount of water leaving. This is what occurs when the solution surrounding a cell is isotonic. When a cell is in a hypotonic solution, the solute concentration around the cell is less than what it is inside the cell. In fact, this hypotonic solution may even be pure distilled water, which have, would have no solutes whatsoever. Since water goes to where the solute is most concentrated, and since while there are solutes in the cell, there are fewer, if any, solutes outside the cell, this means that the water from the environment goes into the cell. The cell will tend to swell as it takes on this additional water. Especially if a cell is placed into distilled water, which has no solutes whatsoever, the rate at which the water enters the cell is so great that the cell swells to the point where it explodes. All of the contents of the cytosol spill out, and then an empty cell membrane is left behind. And so when a cell is in a hypotonic solution, water enters the cell and the cell may swell or even burst. When the solution around a cell is hypertonic compared to the cell, hyper means too much, and a hypertonic solution has a higher concentration of solute than one finds inside the cell. Since water will have a net rate of diffusion towards where the solute is most concentrated, and since the solute is most concentrated out of the cell, this means that water will tend to leave the cell. This can actually, actually be observed because as water leaves the cell, the cell will shrivel, a process known as crenation. And so therefore, in a hypertonic solution, cells will shrivel or undergo crenation as water leaves the cell. 